good morning everybody thank you so much for coming back and uh, watching my youtube videos i really appreciate your efforts and today video we are going to talk about why i love living in the uk what are the things that i like the most about living in the uk so if you are interested in this topic please stay tuned watch the video till the end thank you so on number one is the free education for the kids so the parents would know the burden of paying for the education and all those because the country i came from we had to pay the education books um, uniform each and everything all the accessories so getting free education is one of the best thing ever for the kids and you don't need to worry about the education it's all free and there is no extra burden on the parents as well so that's this is the thing i like the most number two the second thing is free medical whether you have um, whether you are pregnant you have any other condition hypertension diabetes heart problem or anything else in the world like whatever uh, your condition may be it's all free you don't need to pay for anything which is very very good and you don't need to think about it at all so <laughs> it's a good thing the third thing is about the food food is relatively cheap if you compare from uh, my country and um, i'm from pakistan so if we consider about if we consider the prices of the food they're relatively cheap here and um, it's quite affordable even you are not working like very well paid job you can still afford to eat and drink which is really really good and it's quite handy for the people who don't have a good job or who struggle to pay for the rents and all those things at least they don't need to worry about the about the food too much and fruits vegetables and um, uh, bread milk is relatively cheap which is quite good number four on the list is uh, job opportunities so whether you have experience or not or you are well qualified or not you can still get a job i mean um, uh, if we compare it's quite hard to get a job in pakistan especially for the young generation sometimes like they are well educated but they are still not able to find a good job so i would say finding a job is relatively good here um, if uh, if you don't have any experience you can still work in the hospital as a healthcare support worker uh, in the supermarket or um, in the warehouses anywhere else like you don't need the experience you don't need the um, qualification they will give you the training to do that work which is really really good i've been work i've been in dubai and then um, it was quite hard to find a job because everywhere wherever you go they say oh you don't have experience so where <laughs> how how are you going to get the experience so uh, I think it's really, really good if they say, okay, uh, you apply for this job but, uh, and then they give you response like whether you are selected or not. I remember in Dubai, my uh, one of my cousin, he used to uh, apply for the jobs and then they would say, okay, we will let you know. They never call back or anything here. It's not like that. If you apply, they will call you. They will let you know whether you get that job or you got that job or not and uh, if not what are the things they do they didn't like about you and uh, how you can improve which is really 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 good you know, for the job seekers and it's not uh, it's not difficult for anybody to get job it's it's a good thing i like about uk number fifth i would say the life is very very easy here if you want to buy something uh, let's say i want to buy a fridge or a microwave whether it's a 20 pound or 30 pound i know it's not expensive but still you can get it on installment it's <laughs> sound interesting isn't it so yesterday i was thinking to buy a storage rack like a four drawer storage rack it was only 18 pounds and they were saying that i can pay in three installment i was like really <laughs> so <laughs> life is really really easy 
if you need to buy furniture or anything that you think that it's extra from your uh, usual routine from your usual um, uh, household things like uh, it's extra you don't pay for that every month so you can get it on installment if you need to buy a uh, broadband or something like that or um, anything at all you can pay in installment which is really good this is the thing i like about uk living in the uk number six would be um, the transport system uh, transport is really really good we have uh, buses we have uh, taxi or uh, trains it's all on time they come on time if i have an appointment for nine o'clock I'll call the taxi and they'll say, okay, in two minutes, your driver will be here. And in two minutes, driver will be there downstairs. <laughs> so it is really good, really, really good. I mean, you don't need to wait. I remember back home, we need to wait for 10, 15 minutes. Even you order a taxi or something, you need to wait and then you need to tell them where are you located i'm standing here or something no here you just give their your postcode wait for them they'll be there at your doorstep and um, whatever they say whether in one minute or two minutes they will be there and if the same same applies to the buses same applies to the train you don't need to wait too much and uh, it, if they say that uh, this train will arrive it's to, to its destination around nine o'clock it will arrive on nine o'clock and if there is any delays or anything like that they tell you in advance that's the thing i like most about the uk all right also the weather number seven weather is quite good if you are a cold person if you like cold weather weather winter is really good here not very very cold but it is i mean we have summer as well and in summer i live in portsmouth so in summer uh, this time the temperature is like like 40 degrees the it reached to 40 degrees 23 degrees 25 28 so it was quite good summer was good as well and um, winter is uh, a bit cold i like cold water uh, cold weather so if you you are um, uh, you like a mixed weather uk is for you uh, unlike uh, canada it's really really cold freezing freezing and snow everywhere you need to clean it every time it's not like that we we have in these two years <laughs> The snow was very, very, uh, I would say, less. I mean, uh, in uh, last year, there was like four or five times uh, I saw snow here. This, this, this year, only once so far, once or twice so far. So it's, uh, it's a good weather, I think, if you have summer and winter. So number eight is very, very uh, calm, peaceful, quiet, here <laughs> not uh, not too many horns not too many noises even your neighbors uh, you living with them i mean um, even your neighbors not very noisy you won't hear anything not loud music uh, so it's quite good to rest uh, i i don't like hustle and bustle of uh, like very busy life but that's why being quiet and uh, peaceful environment is really good for me. That's why I like living in the UK. Number nine, I have a paid maternity leave. Like if you're pregnant, you will get paid. <laughs> you stay home for nine months and then you will get paid. It's not that much, but you will still get paid. You don't work, you don't go to work. You just stay with your baby. You stay home, take care of the baby, but you will get some money, all right? For first two months, I think um, for first two months is full pay, then half pay, and then uh, um, tiny bit. <laughs> so, so for nine months you will get paid. That's really really good. Nowhere, nowhere else in the world like uh, they will pay you. You are staying home and they'll pay you. So this is quite good. Number ten, we have uh, we have uh, online shopping. So here in Portsmouth, I've, I've not seen a lot of shops. Like there are lots of shops, but uh, sometimes it ha it's hard to find some good stuff. So what I do is I do online shopping and uh, uh, doing it online, um, was a bit uh, scary for me in the beginning because um, because uh, I had a really bad experience back in uh, Pakistan and in Dubai as well. So 
buying it online um, doing the shopping online was made more more easier here it's more easier here i mean uh, for the delivery also you give them your postcode they wait for you at the at the door and call you also that your delivery is here you don't need to wait too much and uh, they'll give you the exact time and uh, you get um, whatever you pay for you get value for it i mean if i buy a glass for 10 pounds the value would be uh, the glass would be really good quality as well so it depends how much you pay for so the, uh, really value the money um, for that particular thing and then the delivery system is really good uh, you don't need to you don't need to go anywhere else or if you choose up if you choose a post office to deliver your item they will deliver it there if you are not going to be home it's really really good the delivery system as well and um, uh, I remember when you get some parcel or something in uh, back in Pakistan uh, they will call you where is your home I can't find your home and uh, can you can you come outside at the bus stop I wait for you at the bus stop it's really nonsense isn't it so <laughs> it was really bad so that's why I like it living I like living here because uh, uh, it's a good point as well <laughs> on number 11 I would say um, um, everyone does the right thing and then all the facilities they are for everybody I mean if you go for parking there is parking for children there is parking for uh, disabled parking and then even in the bus stop even in the bus buses uh, they have a seat they have seats for normal people and they have seats for uh, people who are with poor mobility uh, th for those who use the stick or those who use the the um, mobility scooter they have separate space for them and then for the parents for the moms also uh, th uh, those moms who goes who goes in the bus with the with the child or with the buggy or pram they have a separate space there so everyone deserves everything so there is a facility for everybody like if if someone is paralyzed if they are on a mobility scooter it's not like that they, they can't go in the bus they can't travel in the bus so uh, that's the thing i like about living in the uk and um, honestly guys the bus driver would stop the bus would go down uh, would go get down from the bus and then help the person to get in the, uh, for the person who is using the mobility scooter like if they are on a wheelchair or something like that he will put he will put the uh, bus uh, down to the level of the level of the road and then help that person to get in the bus it's quite uh, when i when i came it was quite surprising for me and i really really loved it because they are they are very very helpful he will wait for the a person to get in to get settled before he start the bus so everyone deserve all the facilities it's if, if this facility is for me it should be for the disabled person as well right same applies to the parking same applies uh, to the if we go in the hospital or something they give priority to them as well so this is the thing I like. On number 12, I would say uh, the maintenance culture is really good. I mean, uh, for the roads, for the sewage, for um, for um, cleanliness of the roads. And uh, it's really neat and clean. And only you can see, uh, only you would see the the leaves of the leaves on the on the on the road nothing more than that and everybody knows that there are bins they need to use the bins and um, nobody will throw the trash all over the all the road or something like that so everybody does the right thing and then if someone is uh, nobody i mean nobody literally nobody would throw the trash on the road or on the on the bus station or anything like that so everybody knows that uh, this is their job to keep the country clean and system is well organized if it's raining after a few minutes there would be no water on the roads not at all like uh, within minutes the sewage system is really really good there's no um if uh, for gas also, um, I mean, uh, there is no 
gas shortage there is no electricity shortage the system is well organized everything is well organized and then uh, if we pay tax we have the facilities as well and uh, if we pay for the bills we have the facilities as well like uh, water electricity and uh, gas they never stop working um, and uh, which is quite good i mean if you have uh, if you paid for it you should be getting the things right isn't it so same like in some countries like we pay for the bills we pay for electricity but there is load shedding there is no electricity for hours and it it disturbs the life really really bad so this is the thing these are the things if we paid for if we pay for these things if we pay for tax if we pay for gas if we pay for electricity we get the things as well we we get them right <laughs> so <laughs> this is these are the things i like about living in the uk the system is well organized everybody knows what they're doing nobody discourage anybody <laughs> and then nobody um, nobody says uh, um that uh, this is our country i mean racist racism is there but not that much it's not very obvious it's under the cover <laughs> i would say <laughs> and then we're just talking about the things that i like the most about living in the uk so on if if i have to select the top ones would be free medical free education free um paid maternity leave and um if we pay the council tax we have parks we have hospitals we have uh, clean roads we have uh, electric uh, electrical lights on the roads as well so these are the things for daily life for daily living you need to consider food is cheap even though for if we compare with the last year the for prices of the foods they have rise they have risen but not that bad not that bad honestly if you are earning like 1500 a month and you are a single person you can still survive you can still live a good and happy life quiet and peaceful life no um, uh and then there are also opportunities if you are earning less you can do part time they give you particular hours like you can work even if you are a student you can still work uh, for that particular amount of hours so which is really really good so these were the things i like about uh, living in the uk if you are interested um if you are planning to uh, to move uk is the best country for you i would say if you consider uh, if you consider these items if you consider these things in your daily uh, life i mean we all we all think about the pros and cons of any country isn't it so if you are thinking to move uk is the best if you consider all these things all right and uh, best of luck if you need any help if you need if you have any queries about uh, moving out if you have any queries about um, coming to the uk with the visa processing with the with the living uh, expenses or anything at all let me know in the comment section if you were happy with this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and colleagues and uh, i'll see you shortly in the other video thank you so much for watching take care bye bye